Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to be giving a review for Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Now this time it's the ultimate edition because I already have seen a previous like, theatrical version of course you know. But this, this particular version I'm reviewing now is the, uh, the actual ultimate edition version of the film. Now this, this uh, as you can see this is the, the Blu-ray I have of it you know which has like the DVD and so on you know. Now this this version right here, it has like 30 minutes of extra footage like added onto it that, that was cut from the original theatrical version. So you have like 30 minutes more of like footage, you know, which pushes the film over to I think over like three hours now at this point, you know. So like uh in the film you have like scenes and certain scenes were kind of even like altered, you know, they weren't like the way they were when it was in the actual theatrical version. They kind of altered even like some of the music was kind of like altered to a certain extent, I guess to make room for like a stint in the actual film, you know. Well this is um Again, I thought that I thought I know a lot of like critics and like a lot of like other fans and stuff that I saw and they were kind of like disappointed into a certain extent. I know a lot of them, were, but I know like a lot of the real like fans, like true, true, I guess you could say fans, not to be like picky, you know. I know a lot of them did like because I, I, I enjoyed it, you know. Now I had this moments where it was kind of like overblown, especially I like, said like the end of the sequence with like a uh, doomsday, them fighting doomsday. It was still kind of cool, you know, that's the kind of action I would prefer them to see do like live action, you know. As far as like comic book action, you know, but it was kind of like overblown to a certain extent. But it was still cool, though, you know, it was still actually like nice to see that. But just certain stuff like that I thought was kind of like, you know, overblown. And then like some certain other things in the film, too, you know, I'm gonna like touch on too much. But this film, this, this particular version of it, you know, now it's also R rated, too, which I thought was kind of intriguing when they announced it in the beginning that, the, that so much was cut out the film. That when they put back like 30 minutes of it, you know, this actually made like an R rated film. And there's now, now from what, what, I, what I saw in this this ultimate edition of it, they could have still probably kept the PG 13. Because if anything, they had like uh, some nudity. <laughs> you had like a couple like nudity scenes. So like there's a shot with like uh, like Bruce Wayne or Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne. Like he's actually like naked in the shower and you actually get to see like his butt on. So <laughs> I was like, whoa, that was a lot, you know. Like you actually see like the nude of him being naked. Plus, uh, on top of that, you get to see like it's kind of a little more bloody. Like the opening sequence, where Superman has to save like Lois Lane from like the uh, I forgot what it was called. You know, when they actually kill like you know like the other, when I didn't and I didn't even know it was Jimmy Olsen. I, I didn't know that was like Jimmy Olsen that they had killed. You know, at the beginning, you know, but I seen right there that sequence that the opening sequence where Superman has to save her. You know. When they were shooting the guns and shooting and stuff, you saw like a lot of blood and stuff, like flying and stuff and everything like that. And that wasn't an actual like, theatrical version. Plus, there's also like a couple more like, like profanity, like they, they actually used the F word, and I think at one point, like in the film too as well, you know. But that, you know, it's kind of basically the same film, you know, it deals with the idea that, um, like Bruce Wayne, he was already kind of against like Superman because Superman destroyed one of his buildings. Like in like a conflict with General Zod, and this is like during events that happened in the Man of Steel film. That's how you can tell that this film is actually connected to the Man of Steel. You know, it's actually like a follow-up to that particular film. It's a continuing that 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 universe because this is actually like the second film in the uh, DC Cinematic Universe. You know, so this actually is continuing from the events of Man of Steel, but you bring in Batman into the into the. Uh, into the film itself, you know, you have Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And for, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't want to brag on too much, but I really do. I think I was saying it in the first one too, like my first review for it. I really am enjoying like Bruce. I mean, Ben Affleck's portrayal of like Bruce Wayne and Batman. I, I really think he's cool as a uh, this, you know, this this character, you know, like Bruce Wayne, like Batman. I thought, I really enjoy it. I'm definitely looking forward to his solo like Batman film, you know. Plus, I know he also has gonna, gonna have an appearance, I think, in like Suicide Squad too as well, you know. And in and the eventual Justice League films too as well, you know. But I really am enjoying his performances uh, like Bruce Wayne and Batman. I think it's pretty cool, you know. But you have like, you know, of course that's what the film was about, you know, he's already kinda in conflict with Superman because of that, you know. Plus like the world and stuff like Metropolis and everything, they kinda they they accept the Superman, but at the same time they kind of against him too. So all this eventually just builds into like a confrontation where like Batman and Superman do have to fight each other at one point, you know, because of all this going on. It's kind of hard. Now you can see like Bruce Wayne's point of view why he chose to actually have to fight him, you know. But like the other stuff that was going on is kind of like confused and kind of off, you know, why they had to fight, you know. But at the same time, you have like another woman, like another character brought in too, who is Wonder Woman, you know, who becomes like Wonder Woman played by Gal Gadot, you know. She shows up into the forefront too, well not in the forefront, but in the film too as well. Because eventually she'll be part of like the, uh, the Justice League films too, you know. But her character shows up and in the end, you know, she had to have uh, 
like Batman Superman take on Doomsday, who's like another threat, you know, because after their little fight, like Batman Superman fight, they actually had to fight this bigger threat, which is actually put together by uh, Lex Luthor, you know. So I thought that was cool, you know, that they had to team up like that, you know, so they had to put aside their, like, you know, their differences and stuff, and the team up and take on it. was like even more powerful threat, you know. But yeah, this film is basically like still the same. Like, I thought, uh, I thought, like, if anything, like, the, and I said this in my original view, like, this, the actual fight sequence between, like, Batman and Superman, for my opinion, it could have been, like, longer, or even, like, a little better, you know? And in this actual, like, Ultimate Edition, you know, it doesn't really, they didn't really add too much to it that was, like, kind of different, you know? If anything, they had the, um, there was a scene, like, where, like, Superman, like, he actually pushes Batman like he's nothing, you know, he just flies back, he actually does it again. And that sequence right there, that wasn't in the actual theatrical version, you could tell I was actually only in this version. He actually like put <laughs> push back right again, and that wasn't actually an idea of the actual like, theatrical version, you know. But in the, the ultimate edition, it was. But um, and then like, I thought like the uh, you know Henry Cavill as like Clark Kent and Superman, they were they were okay, you know. I I, I still feel like Henry Cavill and now that I've seen, cause I think this is actually like my ninth or uh, tenth time seeing it. Cause I saw it like eight times in the theaters. I think it was either eight or nine times in the theaters. So I think this was actually like my ninth. A tenth time watching it on video, you know. But I thought when I, I look at uh, Henry Cavill's performance more and more, I thought it's like he is just like reading his lines, you know. He's like he's not really putting like a lot of effort into that, but in his acting, you know. But I still think his uh his his Superman is cool, you know how he's like buff and stuff like buff. I think that's awesome looking, you know, because how he looks like it's just how he was like a man still. I think that's cool that we have like a buff like muscular looking Superman, you know. I still think that's cool, you know, and awesome, you know. But um. Like Jeremy Irons is Alfred. I thought I thought he was like funny and humorous, you know, kind of like hardcore, you know. But he, he's still cool. Everything was, you know, or like Lawrence Fishburne as Perry. I thought all of them were cool, you know. Like you have a uh, what's the name is Lois Lane. I thought all everybody, you know, like, it was still kind of the same film. As far as like the Ultimate Edition go, you know, it wasn't really that big of a difference in my opinion. If you already had seen like the other uh, the theatrical version, you know. I will not really, you know, recommend watching it, but if you're like a diehard fan of these characters, like these like comic book heroes and stuff like that, I would definitely recommend, you know, just giving them a shot, you know. I'm sure y'all would anyway, you know, a lot of y'all, you know. But in the end, I think I'm, um, I ain't want to leave anything out, you know, that I thought was kind of different or cool, you know. I think I'm just stuck with my same uh, review for uh, Batman v Superman Donald Justice, being that this is actually the ultimate edition. But I'm, I'm I'm going to still give like my my original rating of a B minus. There's there is, really wasn't that much of a big difference. You have like more sequences and stuff like that, like more profanity, nudity, a couple of things like that. But it doesn't really like stand out. And there's also like like it's, there's like two different like things that's going on with the story. That I don't want to spoil. You know, it kind of kind of stands it. You know, like there's like certain depths in the film that were an actual like theatrical version, but it is in this version. You know. Too as well, but I'm not going to touch on those though. But yeah, that's my review for uh, Batman v Superman, the Ultimate Edition. I mean, Donald Justice Ultimate Edition, and I'm giving it a B minus. All right. <laughs>